Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. Welcome back to Freedom Fest 2016 from Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you so much for joining. As far as the attendees coming from far and wide, my next guest. And you know what? I'm going to let you say your name because I'm going to mess it up, and I don't want to do that. But did you travel all the way from Poland for this event? Yes, I did. My name is Tomek (laughs) Kowodziejczuk. Great to talk to you. I really wanted to get it, but I didn't. What compelled you to come all the way from Poland for this event? And this shows you the power of this event. It really does. Yes, it Uh, does. So there is two practical reasons. First one is Freedom Fest, and the second was Objectivist Conference in Seattle. Okay. They came for. And I like your country. This is this is not only the center of liberty movement of the world, to which we which we take a lot of knowledge from, but this is also inspiration for us of its history and people and its attitude. So we want to spread liberty in Europe. I, I think it's amazing. Um, and you know what's funny is I think a lot of people in Europe and abroad see things about our liberty that we as Americans miss. Maybe not us specifically at this convention, but by and large a lot of people in this country don't understand and or appreciate the liberty that we're given under our constitution and our way of government. Um, and I think it's amazing when you see somebody else who's so focused on spreading liberty to their homeland come here to experience it. And, and because I think the only way to experience something like that or, or to be able to educate others is to experience it yourself. Yes, it is. And I don't do it for them. I do it for myself. I want to learn. I want to, I want to see what America and your freedom is about. And then spreading this word and, and doing something for liberty in Poland is also my benefit because I want to live in a free country. Well, and Poland came, you know, Poland's come a long way in the last 30 years. Obviously, um, after the fall of, of the Berlin Wall, things changed dramatically. And it, it, where is it now, in your opinion, as far as liberty and where would you like to see it go? We're in terms of our state. <laughs> it's not much changed since 89. I mean, it was changing, but it's on the same level of status. Who knows, if not even more. But in terms of people, their education and attitude, it is much better. And what I can see, the main difference between not only Poland, but Eastern Europe and Western Europe or America, is that you guys, you take your freedom for granted. Yes. You have a lot of capital, you have pretty nice life and and you can do whatever you want you can you can smoke weed yeah a lot of places they can and in poland we start to experience that we can see what our parents had what life our parents had when they were our age and how it changed now so we can see just small transition into a bit more of free market change it a lot so the young students like me the ratio of them in a country, in, in, in Poland, is, I think, much higher than in U.S. or France or Germany. It's the same in Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, when you go there. We have a lot of, a lot of student organizations which read their Mises, Hayek, Hazlitt, and they really appreciate it. They try to study it and see, hey, maybe this country is not what it should be, right? You, you, and you have that opportunity. Uh, the, the good part about having a young country is you have that ability to change policy, change how it's going to be, if you have a good coalition of young people that understand and uh, liberty especially, to be able to expand that, uh, the ball is in your court, so to speak, um, as long as you can get the momentum and keeping the momentum. Because as we've seen with any time liberty spreads where some sort of tyranny is being removed, um, and we can talk about different forms of government, but I'll just throw tyranny as a blanket statement. It, it is a long, arduous process because the powers that be aren't always happy that it's going away. And the young people or, or the people pushing for that movement, it gets tiring. I, I assume you, you're a proponent and you – I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I assume you're working pretty hard to spread liberty on your homeland. It does get tiring, no? It does, but you know what? The times that we live in, they're quite interesting now. In your country, you have this – funny elections we have we have things changing in poland who knows what the new force of the world will be and this is okay maybe tiring for one person but maybe not for all movement 
because what will happen next we will see maybe some new countries some new nations emerging and they will try I don't know what will happen with European Union will it go more protectionist or free market they will try and I hope so I hope it will be better models <laughs> models of governing people I mean I hope they will not govern them but <laughs> just organize them and and with this time when we have internet and social media you know young people in Poland they don't watch TV like you guys have Netflix we we just started to have Netflix but it's on on computer you choose what you want to hear about you can compare what your parents tell you in at your dinner table because they hear it on TV and you see hey I, I read something else on, on on Twitter on Facebook and and you compare you see you have this information from different countries it can get tiring but mm. it's definitely not boring and when you come to an event like this does it help energize you so it gives you that feeling like, hey, you know what? It's possible. It's still there. We can still do this. Got to get up. Got to get active. Does it give you that good feeling when you're going to go home? Yes, it does. But not only here. Back home, you also have good events where you meet people. You meet them again and again. The same guys from different organizations. We just come back next year smarter. And, and, and you, you, you can have discussions on battle level. It gives you a lot of motivation and power that, yeah, this is, this is possible. I think it, it's a great lesson for the people in this country to understand the gravity and the, the amount of liberty that we have, that you have other people all, all over the world yearning to have what we take for granted oftentimes in this country. Um, I just have one more question. What do you think is going to be your best approach for helping to spread liberty throughout not only Poland, but all uh, uh, European, uh, uh, EU, not EU, Eastern European, sorry. Well, it depends. Like everyone is different. Maybe some people are good in politics. Some other are good in educating other people. I'm good for promoting things, organizing them, and, and making the movement going more smoothly. So I do this. You guys do radio, and and I think this is what is libertarianism about. Everyone has choice what to do, and and this quite organized by invisible hand house, <laughs> it can go in good direction. Well, Tomek. Thank you so very much. All the way from Poland for Freedom Fest. It says a lot about this organization, but it also says a lot about you and your pursuit of liberty. I, I, I commend you, I applaud you, and I, I thank you very much for your time. Yes, it does. But next time when you talk to Paul, don't call this country Young. You're from America. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Young, I meant the people that live there, not the yeah. age of the country. Yeah, but the system change. <laughs> We, we're live from the floor of Freedom Fest 2016. You're listening to shrmedia.com. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network.